Hey guys, welcome back to a new video on the channel. My name is Shock Fernley, I'm a freelance video photographer and video editor, helping you take your video editing and video editing to the next level. So before we jump straight into this, a little bit of a, uh, a warning. Make sure, you, in order to do this, the only way the effect is going to be uh, available to you is in the version of Adobe 22.0. Now if your uh, software isn't that precise um, software, it's not going to be there. I don't know why, big up Sean Nudnarain, I think his name is, uh, for removing it for whatever reason, but you, you have to have 22.0 in order to use this effect. So with that out of the way, let's jump straight into it. So, as you see here, I have my lovely Minecraft clip where I uh, spin a little bit. So as you see here, we have my Minecraft clip where I go back and forth, back and forth. But what you do is navigate up to effects, come up to the search bar, and in the search bar, search time warp. And you see here, it's under video effects, time, and then time warp, and you can just drag that onto your clip. And then come over to effect controls in the top left hand box, and then you're going to change the speed back up to 100 because you don't want your clip to be slow. And then what you're going to do, you're going to scroll down until you see motion blur and you're going to hit enable motion blur. Next, change the shutter control to manual. And then all you're going to do is drag the shutter angle all the way up past 500. You just mess around with this and see what you like and leave it at 900. And then what you're going to do, you're going to come to a shutter angle and you're going to increase it past 500. The more you increase it, the more blurry your clip's going to be. And then what you're going to do, you come down to shutter samples, you're going to increase to about 10 or 11. I'm going to go with 11. That's going to smoothen out your footage, the, the blurriness. So it's not really dis disorientating and makes you feel weird. Now that's all you do to add motion blur, but this is very heavy on your system. And as you can see, you have a nice smooth motion blur in your gaming clip. If you increase the shutter angle more, you're going to have more of a motion blur, but my computer can't really handle more than uh, 16,000. So if you want, go a little bit further, but it is very, very heavy on your system. So do be careful when using these effects. But that's been it guys, that's how to add motion blur to your gaming clips inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. Now if you like what you see here, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for more notifications every time I upload a new video. And if you like, check out some of my other videos. I've been posting a lot of videography content recently. Go check out that video if you want to get into uh, videography. And as I said, if you want to help the production of future content, go buy me coffee, link in the description. Apart from that guys, I'll see you on the next video.